Hi, this is NFT Eve of the Fun Buyers Club. I just wanted to give a little bit of overview of what we're about and made another video earlier, which probably has different points. Um, the Fun Buyers Club is a club you can get into. Um, it is for creators and collectors. I created it for creators specifically, but definitely the collectors that are coming in are amazing and um, really important too. Um, so what it is, is uh, marketing, we're doing standard marketing practices and other creative techniques so that we can help each other be successful in selling NFTs. Um, well, how we're going to do that is when you come into the club, it only costs like $10 right now. It's on any platform, Ethereum, Polygon, Tezos, credit card, Wax. Um, if you have another platform you want to me to put it on, I can do that too. Um, and we also have the VIP passes and other things. So if you get the VIP pass, you just get a little better treatment and a little more attention. Um, and you're just supporting the community more and getting more visibility if you want that. If you don't want that, you won't get that visibility part. Um, so we have a Discord. Mostly things are going down on the Discord. Um, what we're doing is one of our techniques, which I made earlier videos of, uh, we did it with Melon Blossom, was our first one. We're just a brand new club, um, is to like buy out one of our artists, creators' um, pieces. She has work on Tezos. We start at very low price. Her pieces are like 1.5. She's a hidden gem artist who I found. I am an, a career artist myself. And I, my YouTube channel is a lot about finding hidden gem artists. So her work is such an amazing price. So we bought her. She had additions of like 15 pieces. We sold out about four to six of her pieces. Then we immediately put it on the resale market. I'm experimenting with what if prices would be good. Um, I own so many of her pieces. So I put some up for like 20 Tezos, some higher, but the point is to put them right back on the resale. So that raises her price and her ranking. Um, I'm not sure what the technique is. It might be better just to put them up at like 10 Tezos or five, you know, to slowly raise the price. But um, we're still working, always, um, in, always welcoming people with knowledge, marketing knowledge and ideas about techniques. Um, the other thing that we're doing is on the Discord or in the Twitter uh, group, we are pairing up together. Like say, if I have a piece, my piece 0 0.07 ETH or Polygon, then I can connect up with somebody who has the same price. I buy one of theirs, they buy one of mine. And then we immediately put them right back up on the market. And we can keep doing that. So what's going on is that I have a piece that was sold and relisted and yet I have still the same amount of money in my wallet or currency as they call it. So it's an amazing technique and it really helps the artist. It helps when you have buyers, it helps in the algorithms, it helps morally, spiritually, you know, and also the buyer is also going to make money in the resale like I bought two of um, Rock of AJ's pieces for like 0 0.064, I think they were, or maybe 0 0064. Anyway, I put them up for like 0 0.1 because his work is very good. So I, I think I could easily get that price. I think I could have put it up for more and I saved one, pull one up for a resale and save the other. I don't think it's best for the artist to save the other one, but, but also I'm a collector and I do hodl a lot of um, pieces that I, of artists who I know are gonna blow up in the future. Um, that's one of them, Melon Blossom's another one. Um, I have so many of her works that are such a low price that I can sell some, keep some. So that's our other technique. Another technique we have is we have a spatial gallery. I'm getting the paid spatial gallery because it's really, really nice. Um, also, we got a hook up to that gallery that these uh, CEO is in my area and I have them. Um, an introduction to them. We might do an NFT conference here in DC sometime. Um, we're gonna, so any of anyone in the group, we're really helping each other. The entrance fee is just like $10 and that really just gets you in the door. Um, you know, I can't do everything. So we actually need people to help out 
and do stuff. Um, you don't have to. It's a fun buyer's club. You also don't have to buy anybody's work or do anything you don't want to do. But, you know, if you do decide to help, um, you it will help you and you will get more visibility and you will get extra promotion by me for sure. And just visibility and um, in the club. So, you know, we need some people helping with the spatial gallery, with just keeping track of members, making sure everybody's doing okay. Um, and, and other projects that we're gonna do in the future, like auctions, we're gonna have auctions. And also we can partner with other, um, other groups. Like I have so many friends are like, oh, I have a place in Sandbox, like we'll give you a floor. So this is what's happening now in the NFT space is that a lot of people, creators, artists, other people, collectors are coming together and helping each other because the new people coming in, there's a lot of huge corporations now coming in and they have giant budgets. So just shilling on a Twitter space is not really enough of a strategy. At least it hasn't been for me and most everybody that I know. It's just too much work and not enough money. So we really need to get that money and get that success and sell our work so that we can go on to creating and doing the things that we are best at. Um, this group attracts a lot of one-on-one -on -one artists. It attracts a lot of sort of uh, Latinos. I speak Spanish and the uh, very involved in uh, Spanish speaking community. A lot of Africans, like a little bit people who are on the, a little bit barriers, you know, a lot of people have language barriers. Other people have barriers with their tech. I don't know. I'm just always keeping my eyes open for these people. And I have a space every day, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we really try to make sure that everyone gets seen and heard. It's just my own personal passion. And, um, you know, but we, everyone's totally included. I mean, Board Apes Yacht Club can definitely buy into our club and, and have, you know, equal access that, you know, that we all have. And um, so in the gallery, say also a collector could put their collections up. In our gallery, you can put whatever you want up because it's your space that you bought into. Um, we could also have different um, shows, like we'll probably do some fundraisers for Ukraine, stuff like that. It's gonna be a nice space that we can do a lot of stuff in besides just support each other. We could do events there, um, things like that. Um, what else are we going to do? Auctions. Um, we might, I would like to do some happy hours. Um, we did one when we bought out the Melon Blossom collection, but it, we need a few more members because we need to stagger the times and have different people hosting it, you know, just to hang out on Zoom, like not sitting right in front of the computer a little bit. I like to just sit on my couch, you know, like a little bit far back, have a cup of tea, have a glass of wine, eat my snacks chit chat, see other people's work, see each other's work. Um, we might also be doing this on Discord or doing both simultaneously as it works out. I also have a Chick Chop and YouTube channel. So that's, and the spaces. So we have a lot of distribution already. Um, a lot of people who I've interviewed later went to sell at their collections. Um, so we just are also pooling our connections. Like I'm involved with different groups and different people. We have um, um, Amr, 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 who's um, his groups pay it forward. You have to check out his group. He's a mind blowing OG in the space. Very intelligent, very good person, really helping a lot of people and doing huge things in the space. Super brilliant, very business minded. Um, so, you know, all these groups that we have individually, we are putting them together. I'm part of Polygon Alliance, um, Crypto Goons, so we're just putting everything together and helping each other because in this space, the more we help each other, the more we help ourselves. It's not really a competition because there's an infinite space, infinite collectors. And really what's happening and the reason I'm working so hard right now is that I know a year from now, there's gonna be millions and millions of more people in the space. And that means collectors, as you know, it takes a, it takes a minute for, a, for an artist to get up and running, to get known, to build their following. So this is what we're fiercely doing. Also, what we're doing is we can pair up to like each other's um, NFTs on different platforms, you know, OpenSea or follow people, a watch list on Tezos, whatever platform it is. So you can even come in as a, as a buyer. I have a piece that's 0.08 Tezos. I don't know how much that is. I think it's like 25 cents. 
you know, you want to pair up with me or any other person who has a very low price point, we can buy out each other's price points. And you can also try, you can start doing it low, you know, if you you want to see how it goes, because I actually, I'm a little, starting, you know, to buy, connect with somebody to buy low, just to see how it goes, you know, and um, yeah, these are amazing techniques. And I, I'm really sure we're going to make a lot of money just in the flipping of each other's work and fiercely promoting each other and pooling all our resources and really just having more than just one, each person alone struggling to get some recognition. Oh, I have a founder's frame from Bizmesh. No, it's not a founder's frame. It is a frame, um, which is a, a presence in a Decentraland gallery. And also the, um, well, my work's going to be at the New York City uh, NYC NFT. But after that, I can use it, you know, share it with other people. <laughs> I don't think I want to share it with anyone for the New York City, unless you want to offer me a price, but you can get your own founders frame. I think there's still a few available there. It was like $250. Um, also in the future, we have plans of buying a Decentraland gallery. We have other friends. We have so many friends with so many metaverse galleries and it's easy to do these portals, especially even in the space, uh, the spatial gallery, you can just connect up a portal to other galleries. So it's kind of infinite what we can do, but the thing is to really connect in, in one place all together. And to have that purpose of we are trying to help each other succeed. We are trying to help each other sell work. And we're going to do techniques, you know, that are marketing techniques. And anyone, we are also learning more techniques, practicing more techniques. I got the idea from Mr. Breathe. Um, it was in a Bavager space. And that's what he said. I mean, that's the technique is that you buy the artist's work, immediately put it back on sale. And that helps the artist. So a lot of these People who are very successful, they know these things and they are implementing them because they have marketing strategies. So, you know, I am not a marketer per se. You know, I have studied some things. I'm good. I, I've had businesses, but, um, you know, we certainly welcome all partners who want to come in and help us succeed. Um, we definitely have amazing artists and artists that you can get to know in our community. So if you're a collector, it's a really amazing um, place to find great art and also places to show your collections. You could show your collections in the spatial gallery, other galleries, um, and to talk to artists, to get to know artists. So I do think we're going to have some events, some parties, some community things. Um, and, you know, anyone who wants to step up and organize this stuff, I'm, I am an artist and I I'm super busy. So I, it's not really, I'm not going to really be doing all the work. I'm really recruiting helpers. Um, so hopefully, you know, get back to really creating. Um, that's really, you know, why we need to sell our work so we can create more and we can get it out there, let people say it and change the world. Like we want to change it. This is not just for one of one artists, but every single kind of project out there, we support everyone. We're interested in everyone. So by the past, it's in the links. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the likes. Comment below any questions you have, any, any ideas you have. Um, follow me uh, on Twitter. I'm NFT Lady Eve. But if you just put in uh, Google NFT Eve, you can pretty much find me. Um, I have a pretty big presence across internet. Um, my background, I'm a, an artist. My paintings sells for a lot of money to corporations. From corporations, I'll show museums, galleries. I have a master's degree. So I have an art background, which is one of the unique things about our space is that I have that art background. So I, I'm all going to tend to attract other artists. And also I, I, I know about investing in art because people invest in my art and I know a little bit what you need to succeed, which is you know, to have a serious presence in the space. So every everything you do is going to make people see that you're serious and all of the the links you have that show, you know, what you've done in the past, especially, you know, the longer you've been around is good. Um, I mean, or if you're just great, you're brand new and great, that's fine too. But, you know, you can kind of, when you collect somebody's work, you want it, you want your, this is me, I'm an investor collector. When I collect, I want the price to go up. So I'm really watching, is this person going to be around? Are they going to keep growing? Stuff like that. So 
we'll probably have like artist exposés. We'll probably have artist talks in our galleries, stuff, all that stuff that people are doing. We're going to kind of, we are already connected with other art galleries, physical and non-physical. So there's just an infinite number of things we can do if we pull our, our talents together. You know, maybe you have good organizational skills. That would be amazing. Maybe you have, you're connected up with certain galleries. That would be great. Um, I know Deanna has a gallery up there in Canada. And, um, she's also a very much into the onboarding the Latin American um, community. So there you have it. Join the club. It's really... Um, amazing. I didn't build the club first because I wanted to see if there was interest. You know, I don't want to build this huge thing and then not be able to sell it. So, so I'm, uh, um, but you know what? There is a lot of interest. We immediately have like 15 members, which is pretty good. And we have one VIP. Um, and that's what's, a, you know, just the beginning and a bit of a minimal show. What we're, we're going to do is we'll also work to get people into the club. The bigger and better our club is, the more exposure we're going to get, the more resources we're going to have, and the more, um, just the more everything. So um, it's still a small club. So get in while it's still small, because then it's kind of easier for you to get promoted and bought out, um, I think. I mean, I think it's easy now, and it will be easy later, too. That's all. Smash the likes, everybody. Subscribe. And... Come to the club and bring whatever resources you have. And if you don't have them, that's fine too. There is no pressure to do anything in this club that you do not want to do. It's, I'm trying to have a good time and enjoy life as much as possible. Thank you.